everyone welcome to pumpkin horror now today we're going to go through this box here this is in fact probably my four set of uh, toonie terrors which i just finally got in so we're going to go over them individually and i also have a huge collection sitting on my shelf in the other room and one day further down the line i will do a video on all of the toonie terrors that i have but in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and touch base on these particular uh, figures. So stay tuned for that. Okay, let's go ahead and touch base on the four particular characters that I did get from the Toonie Terrors collection. Which are in fact a NECA figure. So keep this in mind. And I got to get some more stands because I like to put these guys on stands. Because they do love to fall and I'll be doing that today. Okay. So let me show you what I got so far. This is the Miner, okay? This guy is from Bloody Valentine, which I believe came out in 1978, the original, or maybe it was in 1987. But anyway, they do have a new version with uh, Jensen Ackles in it. Uh, he's the new Miner in that movie towards the end, okay? I've seen that movie, but unfortunately the original, I don't think I've seen that one all the way through. Okay, I know it's an unfortunate thing, but... Anyway, this thing does come with what looks like a flower, okay? Like I said, I haven't seen the movie in a while, okay? But anyway, it is the miner, and it does come with other accessories, which we'll show you once I pull it out of its box. Okay, now towards the back here. You can cut these out and use them as background displays for your figures, but I never do that, so yeah, I just leave them sitting on the shelf, and they look pretty on the shelf. Alright, but anyway, that's one of them, so we'll put that off to the side here. Okay, this one here is Herbert West. <clears throat> He's from the 1985 movie, The Reanimator. Okay, it also says it, I believe up here in the back. Yeah, see right up here in the back, you can barely see it. But it does say Reanimator. Okay, oh no, wait a minute. What the hell does that say? Yeah. It says the reanimator. Yep. Anyway, he's from that movie. And you know, honestly, as long as this movie's been out, I never watched this one all the way through either, okay? There's just certain movies that I never bothered to watch. I mean, there's a whole bunch of horror movies that actually came out, and it's like, okay, it's okay, but I never get around to watching them. Uh, so I will have to make an attempt to actually watch this. Even though the practical effects and everything in the 80s were a little cheesy in some aspects, that's not a criticism. I grew up in the 80s. Okay, it's just not like today's uh, movies. Today's movies, obviously the special effects are spot on in some aspects. Uh, but some of those movies have some very cool uh, elements about it. Especially the Gremlins and stuff like that. There's always some cool movies out there. But anyway, he's from the Reanimator. It does come with a different head. Okay, All right, so that's what it is right there. All right, I'm going to show you the back. All right, that's your background screen. All right. Alright, moving on. Captain Blake. This is from the actual 19, uh, hang on, 78 I think it is. This is the movie The Fog with Adrian Barbeau. That's a beautiful woman. Okay, but anyway. I uh, don't mind my um, groveling here because I am a little sick. Okay. Uh, just... You know, just keep that in mind if you hear me sniffling, okay? But anyway, this is Captain Blake. He's the leader of the the pirates or the actual, um, what do you call those guys? Sailors. There you go. That actually got sunk out there in the bay or something. It's a very cool story. They did do a uh, remake. I think it came out in 2005. That one is also pretty decent too, but the 1978 one is classic in nature. And we'll definitely touch base on this one too as well, okay? But the main reason I picked it up, as you can see, that's a very cool looking background. Alright? The main reason I picked up the set of four was for this one here. Elvira. Yes, Elvira. She is most awesome of all the horror queens in some aspects. Most recognized, too. And for obvious reasons, um, she's very cool, right? Uh, she is the uh, Mistress of the Dark. Her movies are very cool and funny. She's got a funny element about herself. Um, and I think she's in her 70s now. But anyway, and she's still doing her thing, okay? Uh, this is the main reason why I picked up the pack of four. 
There is another pack of four, but I've already got all those characters, so I don't pick that one up anyway. But this is Elvira, okay? And here's her background, her couch. When she used to do her TV show, she would criticize the, uh, the movies and stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. Right? But anyway, Elvira. So, with that in mind, I will pull them out of their boxes and put them on their stands, and then we're going to talk about the figures in themselves. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back, and let me tell you, the hardest part about these Toonie Terrors is getting them damn things out of their boxes or out of their packages or out of the clamshell. It takes forever just to get the things going. But anyway, I'm going to tell you a little funny story. Blake here, Doctor uh, Captain Blake, not Dr. Blake. Uh, he's from the movie The Fog. As it comes around, I'll show you what I'm talking about. The actual sword sleeve there came off I was under the assumption that, that it was actually broke but I guess that's just the way it's made so I decided to go ahead and use some Gorilla Glue okay and try to glue it back on and what I did is I put the sleeve in my mouth because I had to maneuver something and I ended up getting stuck to my lip a little bit okay it's a good morning people let me tell you okay but anyway I kept rubbing it off with a dish towel and I got the, the glue off my lips but that was a stupid moment for me. I tell you, I'll tell you that. Because I didn't think I'd put the glue end in. I thought it was on the opposite end, but apparently it wasn't. So, but anyway, it worked out. Okay. The sleeve is uh, glued in. So keep in mind there are fragile pieces on these Toonie tears, regardless. All right. So anyway, this is Captain Blake from the movie The Fog, which I believe came out in 1978. I could be wrong about that. It has Adrian Barbeau in it, and there's also a remake that came out in 2005. That, too, is a pretty decent version of the movie. Obviously, the special effects are a little bit better, in my opinion. Uh, but both of those movies are equally good, okay? I love Adrian Barbeau because she's absolutely gorgeous, great actress. And I just heard that Betty White just recently passed away. May she rest in peace. She was 99 years old. God bless her soul, okay? And let me tell you, I thought she would never die. She was impervious to age. But anyway, yeah, she finally passed away, so may she rest in peace, okay? Captain Blakely uh, is from the actual movie. Captain Blake, not Blakely. I'm sorry about that. Captain Blake. It's one where you see them as soon as the fog comes in on the bank. That's when these guys actually show up. They're pirates, I believe they are. Or sailors. I'm not sure how it worked out. But it's been a while since I've seen the movie. But I think I might go ahead and watch it today. Because I haven't seen it in a while. But anyway, this is Captain Blakely. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it off the stand temporarily. Show you what he looks like up close, okay? So let me shut that down. Alright, now. And now you notice I got it on the NECA stands. Some of these accessories do come with these little tiny stands, which I'll show you here in a second here. Okay. It does come with them stands, okay. Some of the figures do have it, but I chose to put them on these because they're a bigger base, okay. So what I'll do is I'll push this back a bit, okay. Show you what he looks like up close. Make sure that the focus is good. Yeah, okay, we're good. Now you'll notice that the, uh, the shoulders and everything are distorted. The shirt, everything. Because when they come out of the fog, obviously they're ghosts. Okay. Alright. But that's what he looks like. Sword. Okay. The hand. And it comes with the sleeve, obviously. Now, I was going to pick up another pack of four, but what they had on the Big Bad Toy Store, I already had all those because I bought those at Target, so I didn't need to pick it up, okay? But anyway, this is Captain Blake, okay? All right, let's move on to the next figure. Now let's get into the reanimator. Uh, I forgot his damn name. Um... Anyway, I'm not even going to worry about his name because I haven't technically seen the movie yet. 
It's been out since 1985, but I never you know, brought myself to actually watch it or anything like that. I've heard it's pretty good, so I, I got the movie. I just got to check it out one day. But anyway, let me show you the accessories that it comes with. This also comes with that stand that I showed you. Comes with a different head. It's Mr. Nice Guy right here, okay? It's chopped off, okay? Now, like I said, I've never seen the movie, so if I say anything that's a little out of line, it's because I've never seen the movie, okay? All right. Now, this thing, I have no clue what it is, okay? I'm thinking it's some kind of a, I don't know, like a test bath or something. Like I said, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know what they do with this, unless... You get the head inside there. I don't know. But anyway, that's what it comes with, okay? There is no other accessories for this. But as you can see, he's got cool motion to him. The hand. Now, articulation-wise, I don't think it has any. All right. The head does move a little bit. The arm does move, okay? So let me give you a close-up look at him. Sorry about the lighting here. There we go. And that's the doctor. I can't remember his name. That I do apologize about. Okay. Put him in here. Now, like I said, you could use these little stands if you want to, but I choose the bigger ones. And it fell off, so hang on for a second, guys. Stay in there. All right, now. Let's get into this guy here. All right. This is the, uh, the miner from My Bloody Valentine. Okay. Not sure when the first one came out. I think it was 1984. It could be earlier. Maybe 1978. Most movies come out in 1978. Like um, Halloween came out in 78. This one came out in 78. I'm not sure about The Fog. It might be 1984. This could be a 1980s movie, which I'm thinking it is. Uh, this is the minor from My Bloody Valentine. And I'm going to show you what it looks like up close. But there is a newer version of this. And it has uh, Jensen Ackles from Supernatural. Dean. He's actually the minor towards the end of the movie. Okay. Unless he was. Like I said, it's been a while since I've seen the movie. But anyway, let me show you what he looks like. This also came with that four pack. Shut this off. Now what I want to do is show you the accessories that it comes with. Alright, now this here, my bloody valentine, box of chocolates for his girlfriend and stuff, I believe it's been a while since I've seen the movie, but this, it comes with this, oh I can't even hang on to that can I, hang in there, bear with me guys, alright, let's try that again, alright. Get that in position here. Well, the lighting here is horrible. I'll do it this way. There we go. And that's what that looks like. Excuse me, Mr. Ble Captain Bleak. Again, you get another one of these stands. Okay. Now, like I said, I like to use the bigger ones, so. Now, the miner himself. They do, Trick or Treat Studios does a mask based on this, but I didn't want to pick it up because I'm not a big fan of this uh, movie. It's okay, don't get me wrong. It's got the long oxygen tube. The pick. Alright. Get my hand out of there so you can actually see it. 
would be wonderful because I got my luminous light over here on the right and if I put my hands in a way like as you can see uh, it kind of blocks the shadows and stuff or it gets too much shadowing and that's what that looks like very cool looking figure okay now last but not least the main reason why I picked up this pack of four because for some strange reason I can't get this on an individual basis so I, that's why I picked up this package was for this particular figure here which I'm going to turn on is Elvira Mistress of the Dark what she does at TV show wise is she talks about and criticizes um, movies and then you get to watch the certain horror movies. I think there's like 13 episodes of those and that's what she did and she also did a couple of movies which I can't seem to find. The, the, there is one movie I, I can't get a hold of, I don't know why, but I did uh, see uh, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Uh, that's a cool movie, okay? And she's awesome, man, totally awesome. Um, I love the way she looks. She's typically a horror queen. Uh, there's Danielle Harris. She's a horror queen. Uh, Linnea uh, Ginley from, uh, is it Ginley? Yeah. But anyway, from um, Return of the Living Dead. There's a bunch of horror queens out there. Uh, but she's pinnacle to the horror queen aspect. Okay, She's been doing it for years and years and years. She's in her 70s now, I believe. And she's still doing it to this day. She still goes to uh, horror conventions. And I've yet to go to one horror convention myself because now I'm becoming a little obsessed with uh, horror in itself. And I've yet to meet some of these people and get their autographs, but it is what it is. I've been watching those YouTube videos where people go to these conventions and meet these people. Especially Danielle Harris. I think she's very, very cool. Okay. Uh, she was in several uh, part four and five of Michael Myers, the original series of Halloween. Also in Rob Zombie's version, both one and two. She's in that. She's in Victor Crowley, which is a uh, kind of like a Jason knockoff, not a criticism, but a different uh, franchise in itself, where he does a lot of major killing and he is absolutely destructive. Not compared to Jason, this this dude's a beast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, Kane Hodder and Danielle Harris have been friends for a very long time. And they go to conventions together every so often. But uh, those two guys, I definitely want to meet. Okay, especially Kane Hodder, because I think he's cool. When it comes to um, my all-time favorite movie, it would have to be Part 7, New Blood. I just love the way that costume looks. The tools that he uses to kill people, absolutely badass. <coughs> Sorry about that, because I'm a little sick here, guys. But anyway, Elvira, okay? I'm going to show you what this thing looks like up close. It's got a very cool design to it, okay? <coughs> so hang on. We'll get through this. Okay, so we're going to shut this down. Show you what she looks like. Now, let's go this way, see. Shadowing doesn't sh th throw it off a little bit. And that's what she looks like. Alright, let me just move this hand out of the way. If it's movable. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, guys. Right, but anyway, that doesn't move. This one does, okay? She's like... Mm -mm -mm. But anyway, here we go. Very, they did a fantastic job on the detail of this. She's still doing it to this day. Uh huh. She got a bump on her. I believe this would be pantyhose or stock. Yeah, pantyhose. Is that what they call them? Pantyhose? Or leg stockings? I don't know what you want to call them. Okay, all the way straight down to the base. The base is cool because it doesn't need no stand. Obviously, it has no hole in it, so it should stand on its own, which it does, okay? So if you put this on the shelf, she'll stand just fine, okay? Okay. And that's what she looks like up close. I mean, okay? 
That is Elvira. Toonie Terrors, guys. Alright. I'm going to turn that on. And that's it on this collection here. Alright. 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 So, with this in mind, those are the four that came in today. Now, I do have a, um, a Halloween 1978 movie poster prop knife coming in. They just gave me confirmation on Big Bad Toy Store that they will be receiving these uh, particular products into their warehouse. They haven't sent me no confirmation on when they're sending it out, but when they do, we'll definitely do a video on that as well. So let me pull this in so you can actually see it up close. Okay, let's back it up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's definitely coming in. I've got some other figures that I got coming in. Mask-wise, I got one more mask I want to order sometime mid-January. I'm going to go ahead and order it. Uh, it is the other um, Trick or Treat uh, mask from Trick or Treat Studios, which is from the movie 2008. I got the unmasked version sitting in the uh, my room. I just did a video on it. It's sitting here on the channel if you want to check it out. I've got the burlap bag version. I will order that next month, and we'll do a video on that. I've got a few other things in my pre-orders list. I'm waiting for my Kessler's Wolf to come in from American Werewolf in London. I've been waiting for that for a long time. I was hoping NECA or somebody would actually make the werewolf, and obviously NECA did. Uh, they're in the process of doing that, and that's running around $45. It's a little higher than your standard... Uh, neck I figure but in my opinion it's absolutely worth it <coughs> sorry about all the coughing guys <clears throat> and I also got uh, another Elvira coming in it is a NECA figure when that comes in they'll let me know obviously but that's not due to come in for a while okay but we'll definitely touch base on that Elvira figure so when it comes to Elvira I got her t-shirt this uh, Toonie Terrors and I also got that neck. I figure that will be coming in of the L virus. Okay, so I got those coming in. Outside of that, let's see. I did have a Freddy Krueger on NECA Freddy Krueger, but I've since taken it off because I've already got one. And Freddy Krueger, fantastic horror figure, just like Ghostface and stuff. I only got one figure of each because they're not my favorite favorite. Hellraiser is my all-time favorite franchise, along with um, Friday the 13th. That is my second favorite franchise. But it's also got my favorite Jason, Part 7. The costume is absolutely amazing in that. And I love to get the mask made on that, as well as the costume itself. It's got bone structure where it, his uh, skin is kind of dry rotten because he's been down in the water for quite a while. And then Tina ended up releasing him. Anyway, long story short, that was a good movie, okay? And he's got some very cool tools that he got kills people with, okay? Especially that buzz saw thing. It's kind of like a weed trimmer with a blade at the end. And that's a badass time, uh, tool. But anyway, Jason is awesome, okay? Michael Myers comes in underneath that only because um, the movies in themselves have a much more serious, uh, serious tone to them than that of Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th has a tendency to go a little on the supernatural side of things. Where Michael Myers, they, they keep it, uh, Michael Myers, Michael Myers keeps it, uh, you know, reality based. And it's a fantastic movie franchise, okay? Like any other franchise, they have, uh, their movies that are a little bit out of there, like Part 5. Wasn't a fan of that one in, in some aspects. Uh, but... You know, Buster Rhymes, he's cool, don't get me wrong. Or is that part six? But anyway, so the, both those two of the movies that are a little out there, especially when it comes to the supernatural thing. Get, he had that tattoo on his uh, wrist, I think. And, I don't know, but anyway, long story short, they kind of messed him up in a way to make him seem like he's more powerful than he is. And in my opinion, he is still human, okay? But he, he's very resistant to pain and stuff he can deal with a lot he's gotten shot beaten down with bats and stuff especially in halloween ends they beat the shit out of him and that but he still comes back and slices and dices okay 
But that doesn't make him supernatural. It just means he's a human that can deal with a lot of shit. And that's exactly what he did. And he's gone through a lot. But anyway, long story short, the Michael Myers franchise or the Halloween franchise. And I love Halloween 3. Even though the, uh, the antagonists are you know, the actual masks and the company that make the masks. Um, I still like the movies. But you're always going to have these fans criticizing any kind of reboot. I don't give a shit what it is. They're always out there. They must seem to think that at the moment you change something on it, uh, it's like, I don't like it. But that's their opinion, okay? They're allowed to do that. For me, when I see the reboots and the way that they handle them, I don't usually have an issue with them. Take Friday, uh, not Friday, yeah, the Friday the 13th, 2009, there was some criticism there with Derek Mears doing Jason. They say his neck is big and all that stuff, but he looks massive in that movie, okay? I love that movie. That movie is freaking cool. Uh, Fry, uh, not Friday, uh, Freddy Krueger, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Well, they, I think they call it The Nightmare on Elm Street 2010 with Jackie Earl Haley. I love that movie. There's just something about that movie. And again, criticism because it wasn't Robert Englund doing it and it didn't have a comical side. In that particular movie, Freddy Krueger was technically a nightmare. He was much more serious tones it didn't have a comical side so people criticized it for that okay chucky another reboot 2013 i think it was this time he was ai he went crazy okay different approach but i would have stuck with the original with brad duraf um being possessed by the doll and stuff well not possessed but you know he was inside the doll anyway to save himself and I prefer that particular concept, that's just me. Uh, but I didn't really mind the 2013 movie all that much. I don't criticize reboots unless they're absolutely stupid, okay? And these movies are not stupid in that aspect, not like some people seem to think they are. But like I said, it's their opinion, okay? When it comes to any kind of franchise, you know you're going to get some criticism, especially when they reboot the damn things, okay? I've heard nothing but criticism from the Rob Zombie movies of Halloween. And it's absolutely absurd in some some aspects, but you know, it is what it is, okay? But I will always like those movies, okay? I love the fact that um, Tyler Maine was uh, Michael Myers. He's like six foot nine, massive, okay? And very brutal in that movie, okay? All right, actually, the two movies. And I like that, okay? That's what I liked about that, Michael Myers. But that was just me. But anyway, long story short, I'm going to end this here. I don't want to drag it out for you guys. These are my f uh, four figures from Toonie Terrors, NECA figures. Elvira is the main reason why I picked it up. Okay, like I said, i got some other ones coming in. When they do come in, we'll do some videos on that. But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell as I get some new figures and stuff in. We'll definitely do some videos. It's getting to the point now I need to come up with some ideas when it comes to horror, okay? Other than just showing you some figures and stuff like that. We're going to have to definitely do some thinking there and give you something different. But in the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good day, and thank you for watching.